them where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere For the longest period of time I've known people never ever attempting to create a puff dough because they find it way too difficult and time consuming while it is not really difficult to create, it is slightly time consuming. Here we have one broken down really simple and gets done quite easy but with a little time on your hand. Let's get to creating it. Now I'm going shortcut and really simplifying the recipe because I'm creating a large batch that I'm going to use all through the Christmas season. Over here I've got about a kg of refined flour. And I'm just going to season it with some iodized salt. So giving about a teaspoon of salt to a teaspoon and a half of iodized salt in it. We're just going to mix it so that the salt mixes along with the flour and it goes straight into my stand mixer out here. Just ensure the salt mixes really well with a kg of refined flour. And we put this straight into the blender lock it and get to adding in the water as this entire creation mixes. So a kg of flour requires 500 ml of ice cold water just to form that perfect dough. Allowing this dough to blend together for about 5 minutes and as it begins to come together all we need to do is take it out and now commence kneading it so that everything comes together really well. Invert this into a bowl and knead it by your hand now so that everything comes together and this dough is quite firm and thick so knead it with soft hand movements till it all shapes well together. Kneading this dough, I prefer kneading it in a glass bowl so that it smoothens out and comes together really well. So knead it till it forms a smooth round surface for another 2 or 3 minutes, not too much. And we're just going to allow it to rest. As you shape the dough into a perfect circle, and it's okay if it's a little coarse, now is the most important part where you create a cross on top, go about an inch and a half into it and this helps the flour and water pastry to settle as it chills in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. As we allow the dough to settle and chill for a good 15 minutes, now comes the part where you actually fold in the butter. So here I've got about 1 kg of salted butter which I've softened and set it into a square slab ready to go encased within the dough. The trick out here is to lightly flour your work surface and go as liberal as you can because you want everything to encase within. So with the cross on top you create this dough into four corners. So you flatten it out and knead it till it gets four distinct corners. Roll the dough out to about half a centimeter thickness and ensure it's more like a elongated bow shaped with four corners protruding on the outside. Now you take the butter that is nice and solidified and by chilling the butter it holds its own really very well. Clip the foil off it and I like to actually set the butter along with foil so that it holds well together and you fold on all four corners encasing the gorgeous butter within. So I like using salted butter here because it just helps everything settle and gives that perfect seasoning to this entire creation. Now you chill this for another 15 minutes before giving it its first of many folds. 15 minutes of chilling the dough and generously dust the counter with flour. Put the dough in the center and get to flattening it out. So you have to be careful that the butter is nice and chilled so that it doesn't ooze out. Work smooth, work efficiently but make sure you have confident strokes out here. 
as you roll this out and most often with the butter being nice and solid you will find specks of it coming out of the dough immediately sprinkle some flour on it and allow it to get that encasement that's required in creating this so just rub the flour on this and now you give it a triple fold so you go half and you go half again so this now goes into a ziploc bag and chills in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes before you roll it out again so you give two triple folds and two book folds into this gorgeous creation having allowed this to chill now it's time to give it its second fold so roll again but go very generous with the dusting so that the butter doesn't seep out and it just manages to hold everything together it looks quite clumsy but believe you me the end result is by far worthy of this gorgeous creation so keep rolling at it rolling the dough out the second time to about a centimeter thickness and Always remember here, you're working with a dough that's extremely resilient and the butter is just something that keeps melting with the temperature of your hand. So the trick out here is to put a lot of flour to dust this in between and this helps in forming the layers as well. So work as much flour in as it's comfortable for you to roll. As you've dusted this, dab it down and it's time to give it a book fold now. So half in the center on this side, half in the center on this side and any butter you see seeping off just put some flour on it and dab it down. It really works in holding everything together and the end result out here is to get those thousand glorious folds. So dust this again and some in the center, dab it all down well and fold it again into half. Now this goes bang into the freezer for at least half an hour so that it chills perfectly before giving it the same process again twice more. You can put it into a ziplock or a polythene bag or go right ahead and at times just wrap it in some foil. Whichever is easier for you to work with. Just settle it in. Take off all the extra air, seal it, and it goes bang into the freezer for a good 30 minutes now. After the second fold and half an hour of the dough chilling in the freezer, it chills to just about the time that the butter solidifies and is ready to roll out again. Lightly dust your work surface again and go as liberal as you want because you want it to roll out evenly and at the same time just aid in the shaping of this dough. Firm rolling allows this to stretch and hold everything together. Just go as convenient as it takes your fancy. You do not need to rush this process because you want it to not stress you out too much. So roll this out. Now it's time to give it back again the triple fold. Flour is quite a saviour out here to ensure everything sticks with each other really well and this dough as you allow it to rest in the refrigerator or at times I even store it right up to a month, it just allows everything to hold well together. So you lift that or even better just fold this on top as well and this triple fold of yours is ready to get chilled and roll out again. So chill it for another half an hour in the refrigerator and we'll roll it out and give it its final book fold. After the third time of chilling for a good half an hour and rolling this dough out to give you that final book fold, this is when you actually see the dough coming together where the butter and the dough, that is the pastry dough, actually start marrying into each other. So while you roll this out and ensure it is one centimeter thick, you can go a little thinner. Now's the time to give it that book fold again half out here, dust it with a generous sprinkling of some flour and don't forget to rub the flour into it so that it just balances things out. Another book fold out here.
and the store is ready as and when you need to use it. So you can actually now keep the store either in the refrigerator and use it or like me, I store it all through the Christmas season and use bits of it. I like to cut it up into four pieces as well, which are easier to maneuver and work with. Now I've created a huge batch out here to use all through my Christmas season coming up. However, you can crack the recipe into half and work with a dough that's slightly more manageable. Putting this into the Ziploc and we're just going to put it into the freezer to chill. Ensure the dough is neatly packed into a Ziploc or a foil or a clean wrap so that it avoids air pockets and it just freezes in the refrigerator right up to a month to a month and a half. Nothing goes wrong with the dough. I firmly believe that everybody should at some point of time in their life try out a puff dough because it teaches you firstly respect, command and more importantly it teaches you how to play around with ingredients and respect one another. I hope you enjoyed creating this gorgeous creation with me. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always say, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.